During the Vietnam War, hundreds of Americans became prisoners of the North Vietnamese. Almost all of them were pilots. So when a plane was shot down over the jungles of Southeast Asia, a flyer could only pray that the pararescue team would find him before the enemy did. One of the very best men ever to answer a downed pilot's prayers was Airman Dwayne Hackney of Flint, Michigan, one of the most decorated enlisted men to serve in Southeast Asia. He was only 17 years old when he joined the Air Force, and as top graduate in his rescue training class, he got to pick his assignment. Hackney chose Vietnam. Well, when a rescue mission starts, it was uh, just a mass effort because that was our, our brother. It was one of us, and we knew that guy down there on the ground had relatives back home. He had a family life, he, and he was a normal Joe. A combination of medic, gunner, and paratrooper, the pararescue men flew aboard huge airborne ambulances dubbed Jolly Green Giants. Planes called Sandys went ahead of the lumbering helicopters to suppress enemy ground fire so the Jollies could get close enough to attempt a rescue. You know, the hard part about a rescue mission is when they put, when Sandy would put you in a holding area, out of the ground fire, and just hold you there until they knew it was safe to go in. And that's when, it, that's when you got a pucker factor of eight. That's when that fear starts setting in. You, know, you want to go in and get them now and get it over with. Do it or don't do it. You shot down or get out successfully, but you want it to happen now. We're going down as fast as we can. This thing won't go any faster. Straight ahead on the top of the ridge line. Go ahead. I got the smoke. I got him. The okay, we got the smoke. Right, babe. Go get him. Okay, just stand by, baby. We're coming in to get you. Stand by. That's a very vulnerable point of a rescue attempt. And when you can't open that hover, and it, it, it'll go quiet. And of course, then your spine started moving, and then you just, you just know they're going to shoot it. You know, if they can shoot down a jet fighter, they sure as hell can shoot down a helicopter. In what was often a fatal moment, the parajumper, or PJ, was lowered into the jungle on a hoist called a penetrator. For Airman Dwayne Hackney and his survivor, this thin cable was a lifeline. It's a scary thing to be down there. Uh, as many times as I went on the ground, it was always, you always your heart rate always went up. <laughs> there was an adrenaline pump, believe me. The gunners had to suppress the enemy ground fire while they tried desperately to get the PJ and his survivor back on board. I've always asked, what well, was you scared in Vietnam? <laughs> was the bear do it in the woods, you know? That it was. Everybody was. There's always fear there. And the person that said there wasn't, they weren't afraid in Vietnam, are liars or complete idiots. Hold your hover, bear. Hold your hover. Looking good. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Driver's coming up. Hold your hover. You're close to the tree. Hold your hover. He's right about 10 foot below the aircraft. 10 foot below the aircraft. Hold your hover, babe. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Hold your hover. Survivor's at the door. Survivor's coming in the door. Survivor's in secure. Let's get the hell out. Okay, talk to me. We're coming out. When you get the guy on board, it was just a hell bent for leather. Let's get our butts out of here now. You gave this guy a present. You gave him his life. You know, you brought him back and hopefully go home and see his family and his loved ones. You just can't explain the good feeling you had. You'll never receive a gift like that until you can save someone's life. I lost a lot of friends over there. There's no romance or anything involved in war. War is the killing of human beings. Us lucky guys came back with the memories. Uh, the unlucky ones stayed there. But you're proud of those men because uh, they gave the ultimate sacrifice. It's pretty hallowed ground. May they rest in peace, no? I had the best job in Vietnam. Saving lives. It's hard to believe that in a war, but I did. <laughs>